If you want more FIFA content from me, I'm now uploading exclusive videos to Patreon. The link for that is down below. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the 92 rated uh, play, wait, what is it called? Icon Moments? I, I'm still not used to it. Uh, Raquel May. Now if you think the audio is sounding a little bit different, I have a brand new microphone because my other one was driving me nuts. I think I actually uh, bruised my my hand early, uh, yesterday. Uh, I punched the microphone, I was that annoyed. I did 6 o'clock content yesterday. I know you're thinking, there wasn't any content yesterday. It was a bit of a moan, to be honest. Uh, kind of, but not at the same time. And um, I didn't post it because there was a, a buzzing in the background and I, it's been plaguing me for weeks and I just I took the, the plunge and just bought a new microphone. So it might sound weird for a few days until I can A, sort it all out and B, you get used to it. So, Raquel May. Uh, yesterday I reviewed Thierry Henry, his uh, prime card and um uh, while doing that i was trying to build a team around him and i noticed i had a seven game loan on raquel May. i've got a few other icons knocking about the place as well i may end up throwing in on the channel at some point some may end up on the patreon i don't know but either way uh, i decided to give him a try because five star skills is my new favorite thing now raquel May has five star skills He's not that expensive considering he's a 92 rated moments card. Of course, his 91 is even less. His 91 actually is under 400k on Xbox and only 500 or so thousand on PC. And uh, a little bit more expensive on PlayStation because that is a very, very high priced market. But the moments card itself is well under a million coins on every platform. And he has some really really good stats that five star weak foot of course but a four star we uh, sorry five star skills but the four star weak foot as well is really nice low defensive work rate is really good uh, i would use him as a cam and i did uh chem style wise i put an engine on him incidentally and even though i feel like there are other chem styles you can you can give him i think an engine probably hits most of the the spots you'd like to improve. You can't boost the stamina, right? A big part of this card is the fact that he only has 78 stamina. So that is one part of the negative. That, that Really, the only standout negative is that he's not going to be able to last realistically, at least if you play him as a cam in especially a 4 one 2 one 2 or something of that nature. He's not going to last the full 90, which for a moment icon is absolutely embarrassing. It really is. Uh, EA need to give every single moment's icon at least 85 stamina, in my opinion, to make them quote-unquote usable. Because this guy, even though he is usable and his stats would suggest that he's a very good card, if you're spending... I mean, mo most moment's cards are going to be 600,000 coins plus right now. There probably are a couple that are under that. But if you're spending, in, in this instance, what, 800,000? Uh, 700 to 850,000 coins... You don't you you don't expect to go into a game and then like 70, 75 minutes think right now I need to take this most my most expensive player off. You just don't expect it. I've got him in a, a Bundesliga team there. He actually did play alongside well not alongside but just behind Thierry Henry at one point. Uh, the loans on Henry ran out, so this was the team I used in probably my most memorable performance with him. He scored one of my favourite goals in recent memory. And it wasn't even that, like, complicated. I know a lot of people who like to use skills and who use skills will watch some of my clips and think, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, but he claims to be this skiller. I don't actually claim to be a skiller, but I do like using certain skills. Uh, the little sort of side-to-side -side heel chop thing. I don't even know what it's called. Um, the ball roll flick. I love doing that. That's a lot of fun. And just drag backs in general. You know, those simple little skills that uh, that everybody realistically should be using if already using. Um, and he's just really good at doing them all. You know, he's got five-star skills. He's got very good close ball control dribbling. And just doing little things with him, you feel much better than uh, with, with, a, with another player. So you pick up another player. You try and do like a drag back and you do a ball roll flick or whatever. And yeah, it's good, but with Raquel May, it's effortless, and you feel like you've done something more impressive than it actually is. Now, the first few sets of clips will be the team with Kent and Henri, and um, I can't remember the, the right-sided player, but the reason for... Look at that close ball control, and then Kent just gets in the way, but he's going to get another chance here with Phil Foden. That's it, that's the right-sided player. I just put Phil Foden as a centre-mid in the end. Um... 
I know you don't care because I showed you a completely different team. I showed you my Bundesliga team. The reason I showed you that Bundesliga team is because I had more fun with that than I did with this one. Uh, that um, that striker, Sargent, is actually a bit of a monster, to be fair. He gets another bite at the cherry here because his first shot was blocked. He gets it on the edge of the area, flicks it up, just dances around that defender, goes for goal, and I lashed at it a little bit. You might be thinking initially, well, he hasn't scored any goals. I don't even think he's got an assist. Maybe he's got one. Um... He's not really that good so far. Well, it took me a few games to get used to him and to what I want to do with him. Because, to be fair, when I first reviewed him and I first picked him up, uh, I put him into the into the squad, didn't look at his stats, didn't put a camp cell on him, went into a game, didn't realise he actually had five-star skills, didn't really know what he was all about, thought from his body type and what he sort of felt in-game that he was some sort of, like, box-to-box, -box, almost a CDM at, at some point. Because... He didn't really feel like he had that great range of movement, and it all came down to the pace. He doesn't have great pace without the engine, and even with the engine, to be fair, he doesn't have great pace. But once after that first game was over and done with, and I realised, oh, he has five-star skills, and he has insane dribbling ball control and, and all the rest of it, now, actually, we might be able to do a few things. So then I took it upon myself to, to try... And, and and not abuse, but use the skills. You know, I wasn't pulling them out all over the place every single time as I pull one out there. But um, it's just a lot of fun. Like, that's why I really love Magidi in this game. That is the, that's the goal. That, that goal, um, to a lot of people, that might not be impressive. But you can't chain an awful lot of skill moves in FIFA 20 because of the way that they've done it this year. But that was great. I loved that. And I'm going to show you a replay. Little heel-to-heel -heel flick to the side and then... Just brings it out wide. He's out an elastico, just brings it back, takes the defenders out of the game completely, and then near posts it, and the goalkeeper's going to get nowhere near that. I was a big fan of that goal, and he did end up scoring quite a lot of goals for me in the end. A lot of elasticos and stepovers and those. I really do need to learn what it's called. Yari Lippmann and getting himself on the score sheet there. I need to learn what that um, that skill move is called with the heel-to-heel -heel sideways thing. If you know what it is, let me know. This was brilliant as well. This was a really good goal. I uh, used the ball roll flick and some um, the the new roulette. I don't know. Again, I, I need to know the the names of these things, but it, it's almost like a roulette, but it's um, a different variation of it and uh, plays in Sergeant who pops it in. But I really enjoyed myself with this card. Once I sort of sat down and had a look at his stats and realized what he was good at, his shot power, by the way, is phenomenal. And he nearly broke the net with that one. We absolutely demolished that guy. Now, top right, you can see that he, he's meta. Um, he's he's borderline meta, right? And this is, I, I mean, to be fair, I would argue that he's not, but then I would argue that he is as well. I, I don't have a maybe meta setting. I'm either going to say yes or no. I've put him in class one because he deserves to be there. Is he meta? I don't know. It's 50-50, it's but I am leaning slightly towards yes than no, purely because of the skills. If he didn't have five-star skills... I would maybe say no, but because he has those skills and he has the dribbling and ball control ability, I'm that's why that's what makes me lean toward yes because he does feel very very quick when doing the skills. Not on the ball. When you run with him, he doesn't feel fast. When you left stick dribble with him, he kind of he doesn't feel great, you know, like in terms of um agile i guess he doesn't feel like super fluid but when you start popping out the skill moves and you start chaining these and maybe you you use the um l1 or lb to sort of you know use the close ball control then you burst out of the corner and what have you then he starts to feel a little bit more um a little bit more agile a little bit quicker you know so there is there's definitely something to be said about this card and i think it's very underrated the 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 big big con and the thing that I'll always come back to and the problem with it is the stamina now you might not see it as an issue and if you're willing to spend you know 800 best part of a million basically on this card and then have to sub him off 75 70 75 minutes into the game and you're happy to do that then that's fine that's not a problem at all I know a lot of people who would have to save up a lot and would have to really consider it and really have to sit down and weigh up the pros and cons of spending that much money on one player. And then to to say, well, you're not going to get the full 90 out of this guy, especially not effectively because he's going to struggle right at the end of the game, especially like if, like me, you are feeding him the ball because he's that good. You want him on the ball as often as you can. And the cam roll is quite demanding as well, even though he does have a low defensive work rate, which does help him, to be fair. 
I, I just don't know if whether many people would be willing to do that. It's going to be a big uh, a big ask for people to to buy him and then to sub him off. He's a great card though. He really is. He's so good on the ball. His passing range is fantastic. His close ball control is brilliant. It is a massive shame that he doesn't have 85 stamina because if he did, I would be very tempted to go out and get him and keep him in my team for good. He is such a good card. But stamina, pace and agility uh, without using the skills, not the best. So that's why I've given him an 87 inside of class one. There are definitely going to be better cards out there, but I did have a lot of fun using him. And I do think at the price point is, is very, very good. I would recommend him. I really would, despite the stamina. If you have enjoyed today's review, do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the mic in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.